Ahead of 2019 general elections, the leadership of the People's Democratic Party PDP, is reportedly banking on seven people to challenge the All Progressives Congress APC, in the presidential contest. New Telegraph reports that the PDP's plan is in place whether or not President Muhammadu Buhari is going to seek re-election in the poll scheduled to hold on February 16, 2019. We gathered that New Telegraph was reliably informed by high-ranking sources within the main opposition party that the PDP is banking on the candidacy of five of its members and two others expected to come from the APC. The two APC stalwarts expected to join the PDP are a former governor of Kano State, Senator Rabi Umusikwankwaso and a serving northern governor. The PDP is working on one of the APC governors as its presidential candidate. The governor has a broad-based support and acceptable to many of the PDP governors and stakeholders. I can tell you that some powerful forces in the opposition party are rooting for the APC governor as the possible presidential candidate of the PDP in 2019 election, a stalwart of the PDP told New Telegraph. The PDP members, who are expected to run for the presidency are the former vice president, Al Haji Atik Abu Bakar. A former governor of Jagawa State, Al Haji Siu Lamida. A former governor of Kadena State and immediate past chairman of the National Caretaker Committee of PDP, Senator Ahmed McCarthy. A former Kano State Governor, Malam Ibrahim Shakra. The governor of Gomb State, Ibrahim Dankwambo. A former governor of Kano. Senator Rabi Umusikwa Kwanso. An official of the PDP said that the party was banking on the candidacy of the seven people, irrespective of whether Buhari runs or not. It was gathered that Atik who currently ranks highest in the party's consideration, with Dan Kwambo, McCarthy, Shakra and Lamido following. That is based on the fact that Kwankwaso and the governor have not formally defected. For now, these are the seven candidates we are working with. We may eventually prune them down to only two when the time comes. But that would not happen by fiat. It would just be for the candidates to come out in the open, make themselves visible to the people. We will look at their acceptability and know which direction we would go, he said. On Kwankwaso and the governor. The official said, do you think that many people are in APC with their full hearts? Some are just staying there for now. It was further learned that while many in the party consider Atiku as the most formidable, many also think that considering his age and the likely opposition to his candidacy by some major power brokers in the country, chief of who is former president Aliskano Basinjo, there is need for caution. A Taku, for now, is our strongest card. But you know what former President Goodluck Jonathan said about him, that he needed to sort himself out with Obasanjo. That is the only problem he has. Except he decides to jettison Obasanjo, it might be hard to give him the ticket, the source told New Telegraph. But A Taku is said to be at peace with the National Working Committee. And WC, of the PDP led by the national chairman, Prince Aksakindis. Previously, it was thought that Sekindis and his crew might not want to dine with a Taku, particularly after the Jonathan counseling. But sources close to a Taku insisted that he has a close relationship with former First Lady, Dame Patience Jonathan, who is a major influence on the River State Governor. Nysam Wyke. Wyke is, by extension, a major influence on Secondus.
We are not worried by the NWC for now. We have a good working relationship with them. They would not work against us, said a source in Atiku's camp. Further, it was gathered that much as Atiku may not seek or get Obasanjo seal to run for the presidency, there is an understanding Atiku and Obasanjo would maintain respectable distance. We believe that if Obasanjo would not support us, he should leave us. He should not criticize us. We will not mention him in our campaign, said a source close to the Atiku's camp. New Telegraph also gathered that Lamido, being an Obasanjo man, would have directly benefited from Atiku's misfortune with Obasanjo. But there is a strong feeling that his case with the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC, might hamper his chances with the party. A top PDP official said that the thinking within the party is that the AP-clad federal government would continue to harass Lamito with the case, as far as he appears a strong candidate. The source said that Lamito's chances would have been high if not for the case. But Lamito is not deterred by the case himself. He is currently consulting widely in pursuance of his ambition. It is also only Atiku, Shakra and Lamido that have clearly indicated their interest openly. Lamido is currently touring some states in the country. He is expected in Enugu today, Monday, where he would confer with the state governor, Ifnia Yugwuniu, on the presidential race. Lamido is also moving further to other states to secure the support base he needs. Dankwambo was recently mentioned by fiery Yugu based Catholic priest, Reverend Father Ajay Kambaka, as a man who can replace Buhari. <laughs>